Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome back to Vibing with the Guzmans. I know you guys must be like, Michelle, where have you been? We missed you. Happy New Year and all that other good, exciting things. And I am so sorry. I know we already are one week into the new year, um, but your girl has been busy. Um, I work in the insurance industry, and because of all the recent storms and everything, you know, I had to get to the money, which was help people get money into their hands so they can go ahead and, you know, reestablish their lives, whatever it may be. So um, today I just wanted to pop in and just do a quick video with you guys. As you can see, I'm having to wear these uh, glasses and everything because there's another story on that. I'm on my way to the eye doctor. Um, I normally wear contacts and I, because I've been working so hard, I've been falling asleep in my contacts which is a big no-no. So I ended up getting an infection in my eye. So I'm doing a quick follow-up appointment with my doctor to make sure everything is healing and moving along, you know, well. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and pop on over there and, you know, just take you guys along with me. Uh, over the next couple of videos, I wanna get into you as we're going to be diving deep into um, our debt-free journey you know, pay, the snowball method, uh, what I'm doing to help reduce costs, etc. So I hope that you're into that kind of content. I look forward to you growing and getting rid of debt along with me. Let's build a community together for 2023 as we rally to fight inflation, reduce our costs and make sure that we have everything that we want or need on a budget without compromise. All right, guys, let's go. All right, so <clears throat> we're on our way now. I'm going to back out. Hold on. All right, so we're on our way right now to my eye doctor's appointment. And let's go ahead and start talking about the different goals that we have for 2023. Of course, the Fed is just increasing the interest rates, it seems like, every other month. So uh, based on the news that I've been watching, there's another... Uh, hike expected to come up in the next couple of months okay so that led me to look at my 401k because I was contributing 11% of my salary into my 401k pretty much my goal is to get up to uh, I would love to get up to 25% 20-25% of my salary but anyway um, so 11% currently and every year I would increase my contribution by 1% so anyway, I look there and, you know, let's say I'm in, for every dollar I put in, I'm losing because of the, you know, conditions of our economy right now. So I'm like, okay, well, that doesn't make sense. Um, so because of the fact that I want to follow the Dave Ramsey plan, one of the things that he recommends when you're trying to pay off debt is stop your contribution and invest it. So I stopped that, okay? The next thing that I looked at was the interest rate on my credit cards. Y'all, I almost had a fit because, you know, the interest rate is not, it's not fixed with your credit cards. And I was paying, or I am paying almost 30%, almost 30%, which is asinine, okay? <laughs> um, it's ridiculous. And if I don't get that paid off, well, with these um, projected rate increases and stuff like that, the payments are just going to keep getting higher and higher. So thankfully, I work in an industry where we have overtime readily available, and I've always won, been I've always been the kind of person who will do whatever it takes and pick up extra odd and end jobs if I had to. But thankfully, right now it seems that you know just working with the overtime that I have for my job. It's okay, but I'm definitely trying to go, as Dave Ramsey would say, gazelle intense, scorched earth, etc. Uh, my husband as well is willing to do, you know, the overtime, whatever it takes to get out of debt because between my credit cards and my, I know this belt is choking me, but anyway, between our, my credit cards and my uh, car payment, or you know, what's owed, uh, we owe about $30,000. And I know it's doable to do uh, get that paid off within a year um, so we're definitely going to do whatever it takes to meet that goal because we don't want it to linger we don't know what 2024 is going to bring financially 
Um, and also, uh, you know, we have a lot of things that we would love to do for 2024. Uh, so if we can get these debts uh, moved out the way, it would be great. I'm gonna show you right here, um, a little game plan basically that when you go onto the Dave Ramsey website, it tells you, okay, how much you would need to pay in order to meet those goals. So you can move the little thing at the bottom and say, oh, you know, I wanna be debt free, let's say by uh, March of 2024. So you can put all your debts into the system you put March of 2024 and it will tell you how much extra you'll have to pay on top of your debts in order to meet that goal. So that's what we did. Um, so I'm very adamant about December 2023. So it's letting me know there how much we have to um, pay to get it paid off. Uh, so basically on this uh, channel, I'm going to document our journey uh, towards being debt free, um, you know, one of the ways that we can do that is, you know, reducing our expenses. Um, so I've been researching what are different ways that we can reduce our expenses. Um, so if you're into that kind of content, you know, please be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and of course, subscribe. And thank you so much for all of my new subscribers. I greatly appreciate you wanting to come along with me on this uh, journey. I look forward to bringing you new content, uh, God willing, every week. Um, so in regards to, you know, what we're looking to accomplish during 2023, because of the fact that I want to follow the Dave Ramsey plan, one of the things that he recommends when you're trying to pay off debt is stop your contribution and investing. So I stopped that, okay? Towards the end of 2022, I talked to my husband and I was like, we have to stop using credit cards, like period. We never really were people to use credit cards. We were always, you know, paid cash. But when we were buying our house, we had to, you know, kind of like establish credit, so to speak. So that's why we got the credit cards. And then of course, we just fell into a habit of being credit card dependent. I'll say that. So now I said, we have to stop that. We went cold turkey, haven't really been, no, we haven't racked up any additional credit card debt, thank God. So this year, you know, we're gonna be doing the snowball method. If you've never heard of the snowball method, um, it's something that Dave Ramsey, he's like my financial advisor, but he doesn't know that. Um, but he's basically my fin financial advisor. You can find him on YouTube and he has what they call the seven baby steps. So that's what we're following. Um, the first and foremost, which I'll call baby step zero, is where you need to make sure that all of your finances are of to the point where you're making sure you pay everything on time. So that's gonna be the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to, um, establish, where you take care of your four walls, uh, you make sure that your housing is secured, um, your transportation, food. I'm not sure what the other fourth wall is, but if you look them up, uh, you'll be able to find that out. So you gotta make sure that's in place. The second baby step is where you're going to um, save up for a emergency fund. It's a starter emergency fund where um, if you make $20,000 or so, the goal is $500 in an emergency fund. But if you make more than 20, you need to have $1,000 uh, saved up. Then after you have that money put aside, you'll take the rest of your money and start paying off your debts in order of the smallest debt to the largest debt. This is a very important goal to us and so, I'm gonna go ahead and just sign up for all the holidays at my job, um, do whatever I can on the side maybe, as well as my husband, so we can get that income and, and, and pay off our, our debts. I was watching this other lady's um, YouTube channel and I kinda liked where she planned it out for a year. So you take all your income for the year, you subtract, you know, what you have to pay, like your mortgage, your, you know, for the year, you subtract um, your cell phone for the year. And so when you subtract all of that, you see how much money you have left over. Then what I'm doing is I'm subtracting my, my debts that I need to pay off for the year. So let's say after I have um, 
pay off my my not pay off my mortgage but I calculate all my wants and stuff let's say I have fifty thousand uh, dollars left over that I can use to do whatever um, so my debts that I need to pay off which is for credit cards and my car uh, is a thirty thousand dollars so out of that fifty thousand I'm gonna subtract thirty thousand so then now I know I have twenty thousand dollars for the whole year that can be used towards uh, things like you know going out it can be used for um, food uh, all the things that are more like not a want but well no it's more for wants versus needs okay so I'll be I'll be doing a video on how that part works and stuff too uh, so that way you can see it, my real numbers and what I'm working with and stuff so I hope that we can have a community built up to where you know I can show you my grocery hauls what I'm doing to reduce my expenses um, and you know and, and help encourage each other uh, to get this done because it's possible you know it won't be easy I'm, I know but I know it's possible and whatever you set your mind to it can be done let me go ahead and drive over to this doctor's office for my eye appointment I'll check back in once I'm finished with that and uh, we'll continue this discussion all right okay everybody so thankfully I had just left the uh, doctor's office and everything worked out great um, sorry for the glare um, but anyway so my eye is fine he told me I can stop taking the medication so I am grateful that you know it's progressing I look forward to bringing you new content uh, God willing every week and um, thank you so much for tuning in today I hope you have a blessed one see you soon